you are a Christian, you are like Christ. There's a spirit in you that makes you to be like Christ. John 13, verse 23. John 13. Maybe we read from verse 12. Today I'll be talking about Christ in us. To have Christ doesn't mean you won't be present. But you will serve others. When Christ is in you, you have to serve. We will see you by serving. But persecution will come. John 16, 12. John 16, verse 12. To 15. To 15. Jesus was teaching. He said, All the things of the Father belongs to what? And the Holy Spirit will take all things of this man, Jesus, and bring it to us. What is it that the Father has left with? Stop going to cry to the Father. The Bible says he was praying the name of what? Bible of, of Jesus. Because, because see, all the things he has been taken through the Holy Spirit and given to the Jesus. That is why the Son says, Me and the Father, we are what? Amen. Now, Holy Spirit, now, the same Holy Spirit in the Son, who took everything from the Father, it is the same Holy Spirit that will take everything and bring it to what? So, why are we still crying? Why are we still crying? Can we just read Galatians 2? We read verse 20. This is the verse we normally read. When Christ comes to you, he gives you life. And the life you live, you live by faith, not by what you see. You have been crucified. Means when Christ went to the cross, you went, you went to the cross. When Christ was buried, you were buried. When he rose, you rose. So the life you live now, you don't live by what you are saying. You live by faith now. You live by faith unto Christ. Christ. Because the things will be coming from Christ. Transferred from Christ to you. I don't know if you're hearing me. You need to know that your character of the past. I mean, all the things that tells you you are still there. You can do one, two, three. You can fight for yourself. It tells you that you didn't die with him. When you accept Jesus, you went to the cross with him. When he rose, you rose with him. Now the life you live is in him. You live because of Christ. And you cannot do anything without him. Your ability is his ability. That's why maybe Paul says, I can do everything because Christ strengthened me. I wonder about a child of God who does not believe in Christ. If Christ is in you, if Christ is in you, you will live by faith. If Christ is in you, you won't live by circumstances. You will live by faith. And if you live by faith, whoever say you are suffering, he doesn't know. You went to the cross with him. You rose with him. This person does not know you that you have got a new life. When he died, you died with him. When he rose, you rose with him. Because Christ is in you. Philippians 4 verse 19. Philippians 4 19. Philippians 4 19 says, And my God will liberally supply, meaning fill unto until full your every need according to his riches in glory in Christ Jesus. In Christ Jesus. Amen. 
your god is a supplier in Christ Jesus Christ Jesus you have the supplier and that supplier is god that is your benefit when people say you are feeling you have the supplier and your supplier is god in Christ Jesus what is lacking from you is about to be supplied to if you believe say amen in second Corinthians Chapter 5, verse 20. Chapter 5, verse 20 to 21. We are ambassadors in Christ. We represent Christ. Christ. Do you know that an ambassador cannot be affected by ah, the situation of, of the country where he is? When you are ascended, take charge. You take over. Because you represent the kingdom. And that kingdom is and bigger than where you are going. When you reach there, whoever is in that kingdom is bound to surrender. You people here, you are unwitchable. You are unstoppable. You are unblockable. Because you represent Christ. No one can Christ. No one can stop Christ. If you believe, say amen. When Christ is in you, you cannot be afraid. Because you don't know you are, you are representing Christ. Sometimes you find yourself crying, I'm not getting a job. Whom are you representing? Are you an ambassador? ambassador now. Why my things are not moving? Maybe they've wished me. Maybe they want to listen. You need to stand up. You are more than the conqueror. In Christ Jesus. You must not understand that you are in Christ. And Christ is in you. As a Christ is in you. Ephesians 2 verse 12. When you are in Christ, the promises of God must come to pass. You don't need to pray for them to come to pass. The promises are yours. Sometimes you need to stand up and say, thank you Lord, you have promised me. You have promised me. To be in Christ, how limo Christ? To be one with Him. Obo muti ili Christ. You're a child of promise. O wana wadi tsepi so. I don't care where you were born. I cannot tell you where you were born. Galatians. Bakalata. Three verse twenty-seven. Three twenty-seven. There's a glory on you. Ona le orena. There's character. Ona le mehwa. That you sh- you display. Yawe ibonsha. There are values that you show. Ona le buto kwa bo ibonsha. Don't take yourself. Ch- because you have closed yourself to But Whatever you speak, it happens. If you know what is in a child of God, even when a child says, mm. I'm telling you, it means something. I don't know if you're hearing it. We need to know what is inside. If Christ is in you, the character and the value, the character that you will display, is not of people. It's not of the people. It's not of the people. It's not of the people. It's not of God will just push you to do it. And it will be displayed Christ. I say it will be displayed Christ. From today when people look at you, they must see Christ. I say they must see Christ. There are some things that when you do, we even question, are you a child of God? Because we need, you need to display a good character. The character of showing that Christ is with you. I pray that today that when people look at you, they must know you are unstoppable. They must know you are not alone. They must know that Christ is in you. If you believe, say amen. Amen. Don't look at what material size. You know people of the world, they look at the car you are driving, the house you are talking about someone in you. You in him. Christ in you. You in Christ. 
when Christ is in you, Christ even when you don't have money, you are rich. I don't know if you are hearing me. Even when people say you are poor, I want to tell you you are rich. When the expectations are not met for a wife, it's because of the future. Sometimes God can leave you and bring everything you need. But because of the future, can I tell you this? Your future is bright. I say your future is bright. If you believe, say amen.